Hi guys, uh, welcome to the new video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to configure the virtual lecture recording in the Blackboard. So basically here, uh, we're going to see some tips and tricks uh, to avoid any kind of uh, issues while you're doing the virtual lecture in the Blackboard. So basically, first thing is uh, once you log in, you'll see what the courses you're teaching for the current semester. And let me go ahead with the, any of the course. Just click on the course that you want to do virtual lecture. One thing I want to say before we start the before we start the virtual lecture is once anything that you are configuring here in the blackboard in the left hand the tools area where the content area module page blank page where you want to keep anything like suppose uh, if I am creating any content area like I am creating something like my recordings where I want to put all my recordings here just make sure that you make it the checkbox available to users if you don't make it available to users let's see what happens now i did not make it available to users so if i go and click on the student preview so you are entering the student preview mode and here you can't the students cannot see the preview mode means a uh, student cannot see that link whatever you created now so what you have to do is just go just go back to the uh, instructor view just make it available students can see your recording so just click on the show link now the student can see your recordings uh, whatever the things that you're going to keep inside that content inside that uh, link like once you click on the link you can able to build the content with different kinds of options like if you want to create a set of items like the files pdfs videos or audios if you want to create only one file just click on the create file if you want to create any if you want to keep any kind of multimedia audio or video files you can just use this second section and if you want to create the learning modules like lesson by le lesson like your course roadmap you can use the third option and if you want to create a new page inside the new content area you can just create a new page inside the content folder you can create the same uh, some kind of contents and matchups is like something like you uh, you you import it from outside the Flickr video or slide share and you can just uh, paste this uh, as an exported content and the assessments is like what kind of assessment methods you are following for your exams or if you want to keep exams just use a test method if you want to use a survey tool assignments we'll go with the tests and assignments and then these are the different types of tools that you can able to do it and partner content if you want to just get the textbook from Pearson or any of the publications you can just put this content so one thing is like you just whenever any kind of content that you're keen to just make sure that you enable the student preview and now let's go to the virtual lecture once you click on the virtual lecture right there are three important things always your recordings will be stored in the recording section and this recording section is also available to the student so once you are in the virtual lecture you can just inform to the students that once they click on the virtual lecture just they have to go to the menu bar and just they have to click on the recordings they can see uh, the recordings that you created for this uh, for all the groups now let me go to the exit the preview let me just uh, create a new uh, new virtual lecture so just go to the virtual lecture and i'll create a new section just click on the create a new section so give the name of the class today and what from what time to what time and if it's an open section or if it's a repeating section for every weekly there are two classes so I'll just keep it on Tuesday and Thursday and provide a description for this class and the section settings that you can just give it like share audio if you want to share your audio and if you want to share uh, participants can share audio because you want them you want and participants you can just give them the hello recording downloads and then draw on whiteboards so just click on save so once you click on the save the section is started just click on the join the section so here once you join the section these are three important things that you know do that you need to do first enable your microphone so the students can able to hear your voice whatever you are talking and ask the student question that if they can able to hear your voice or not or you can use a chat message and then the, these are four buttons the first one is a chart window the second one is the how many participants have joined and what is the quality of their internet connection and what are the attendee controls the quality of the internet connection says that my experience is excellent and you can also see the participants uh, internet connection and also you can share the content like if you want to share your whiteboard you can just explain them some important concepts related to your course uh, or you can just uh, based on your course you can just uh, and share the files only here you can share the image powerpoint or pdf files and once you share right you can also use these tools to draw on your pdf files 
or to explain some things related to your course and polling is something like after you finish your section you can just ask the questions in the middle of the section or in the middle of your lecture and they can ask the students can answer and you can see how much is a response rate and if the response rate is really good you can understand that the students have understood the concepts clearly if it is not you can see that so you can you can you can find lot of different assessment methods so once you just start the section right you can first thing is once you enable the microphone and click on start recording so once the section is recorded at the same time what you can do is because the section might get end at any time because of your internet connection or because of the blackboard issue just also use a snag it tool or you use your built in tool so now i have to do the snag it tool so i'll just uh, click on capture so it will capture the video now it is just asking for the screen and click on the record so the snag it tool is also recording parallelly so parallelly once the section does not get saved in the blackboard you have a backup copy you can just uh, upload the content in any of the sources and you can just share the web link to the students now i am getting recorded now my microphone is enabled now i am sharing the screen now I'm sharing the blackboard if you want to share your screen just click on the stop sharing the blackboard and just click on the share application screen and click on the share with the students so now the students can see your screen whatever you are showing up and share files so these are the different options that you can see and uh, uh, once you finish your recording what you can do is uh, you can just click on the stop sharing and i can just click on the stop recording because i want to end the section and you can just leave the section from this browser window and once you finish recording the recordings will be available after a period of 1 hour to 2 hours because they have to get converted to mp4 and you can see that all your recordings will be available under the under recordings and uh, if you want to get the attendance of any of your group just click on this uh, uh drop down click on the previous sections so now there is only one section that i created for this group the lab section so if i go here if i click on the view reports i can see the how many participants there are eight number of attendees and i can just click on the view report and you can just uh, make it a pdf or export to csv uh, to excel file and you can see at what time they joined and how many times they joined this uh, uh, sections and uh, here also you can see uh, once this is this is finished here also you can give attendance directly but this attendance will not be reflected in the, like in the course tools also we have the attendance so once i go to the attendance i can see that there's a overall attendance means overall it gives the overall or it's a meeting like only how many people are present for this today but if you want to create an overall attendance like for today it is like this and here i can mark the options as present and if i want to mark them as late absent and if i mark them as uh, excused so you have different kind of options and also here you can enable like you can just add a column and here you can change the date like edit a meeting click on edit a meeting you can change the date to any date and you can just mark it as a absent or present based on your class so overall is to make uh, complete attendance based on the number of days that they, that they attended and the meeting is only for today if they present or absent or anything like that and this is what uh, the configuration in the blackboard and i hope you got the thing uh, you understood the concept of uh, how to configure the virtual lecture and how to configure your microphone and how to share your content with the students and how to give the student to you so we have seen a lot of things and if you still have more any questions you can just post it in the comment box below in the video and thank you for watching the video have a nice day